Hello everyone, and thanks for listening to my uh, video blog. This will be my fourth in a series of video blogs, and I'm going to be doing some more. We had the last one with my friend Sylvia Ann Tuggle, and we're going to be doing some more with uh, some with my friend Reverend Sheila uh, from the Harmony Church here in Tampa, and as well as my friend uh, Psychic Andrea, Andrea Angelicosis, uh, the owner of Psychics in the City here in St. Petersburg, Florida. So we got quite a few people I'm going to bring on to bring their wisdom and stuff like that. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is, um, you know, there's been quite a bit going on in the world, and I, I just in the last few days I've seen some pretty um, horrific things, uh, some here in Florida, you know, that made me go, ooh. And I wanted to talk about our heart space, or our heart energy, and how we can really affect the world on an energetic level as opposed to being in their reactive level. And I was uh, uh, working at a, uh, uh, a psychic circle about a week and a half ago, and a, a client was there, and she was really worried about the future and things that were going to be happening for her. And so I stopped and I said, hold on a second, just stop right there. I want you to just breathe, and I want you to drop your mind into your heart. So uh, while we're here, I just want everybody to just kind of, you don't have to focus on me on the video. It's not necessary. What I would like you to do is I would just like you to find a focal point in your room and um, just kind of soften your gaze on it and take, start taking deep breaths in. So you're just going to take a deep breath in and then exhale out and take another deep breath in and exhale out. And the idea is just going to keep on doing those breaths like that until your body starts to relax. So I just really want you to focus in on relaxing your body just for a second so we can kind of get your mind into the space of deep breath in, deep breath out, in and out, in and out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and that's actually very important because I really want, the, the, this, is, this whole exercise is about the breath. And so um, while you're uh, uh, kind of doing that, I want you to just kind of imagine yourself being just this tiny little version of yourself. Just, you know, I want you to pr pretend to be about five years old for me, as if we're in kindergarten and you're just uh, using your imagination. So and I want you to imagine that small aspect of yourself dropping down into the uh, heart energy here. So this, you're just going to kind of drop into the heart. And you're going to be in the center of the heart chakra. And so while you're there, I want you to continue breathing. So breathe in and breathe out. And this time as you're breathing in and breathing out, I want you to imagine the heart space actually getting bigger. And so as you're doing it, I want you to actually hold your hands in front of yourself. Breathe, breathe in, and then push your hands out. So breathe in and out. So what you're doing is you're bringing in all the life force energy and chi into the heart, and then you breathe it out. So now as you're breathing in and you're breathing out, you're bringing in the energy, but now you're expanding your heart out. So as you breathe, push out, you're visualizing this heart energy going out. <clears throat> and it's important while you're doing this, I want you to really think about uh, and feel this energy pushing in and out. And so <clears throat> as you're doing it, I want you to start thinking about um, things that kind of rough you up a little bit or set you off kilter, uh, stress you out, challenge you. And I want you to pay attention to now uh, you're probably in a very relaxed state or in a pretty good relaxed state. I want you to pay attention to what it does to you. And so it could be about health insurance, it could be about your husband or wife, about bills or something like that. And I want you to uh, imagine and feel what it is. Is it making that energy kind of go, kind of constrict in? Or is it making it push out? So th then this is kind of proof of your thoughts. So if you kind of feel it, like right now before you're doing that, if you kind of feel like you're very light and everything and your energy is kind of out here, um, you should be able to tell that in a relaxed state. Or you're just kind of feeling pretty relaxed. And then as you think about these things, the body starts to tense up and or the anxiety starts to kick in and stuff like that. So what I'm what I'm sharing with you is that this body is the conduit. So then what it's doing when you change that energy um, and the, the stress and the anxiety and the energy starts pulling in, you're creating limitation, you're creating more anxiety, you're co-creating the space. So <clears throat> oftentimes 
what happens is we don't even think, we don't even realize we're in this space of, of limitation. But if I can take you and just demonstrate to you that the energy level uh, of where you're way out, that's unlimited potential. You know, the energy, your aura, whatever you want to refer to it, your energy body is way out here. Or when you're in fear and, you're in, and the anxiety is coming in, you're in here, then you're in limitation. So you're just stuck in this body, this physical space. And so the truth is, is that you're not just this body, you're not just this flesh, you're actually this energetic uh, being that's way, 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 way out here. And so, uh, and the greatest way, to, one of the best ways to tell that is to, uh, to kind of go through this exercise. So again, I want you, I want to breathe, out, just kind of get relaxed and breathe in and then breathe out. This when you're breathing out, you're kind of pushing the energy out. You can visualize it pushing out. But you have to do it and relax. You can't just push like you're pushing against a wall. You have to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now bring those thoughts in, those, those limiting thoughts. But now what I want you to do is I want you to talk to them. I want you to say, as you're pulling in the energy, and you feel that, and if you feel that constriction, I want you to say, no, 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 it's okay, everything is going to be divinely perfect. Or you find a way to talk to it. Talk to it like you would talk to a little baby, and you're trying to get that little baby to calm down from crying. So you're just going to speak to it on that level. You want to really just care for yourself and, uh, and love yourself. So breathe in and breathe out. Because what we want to do is we want to set the intention of unlimited potential. And so if we can set that intention of unlimited potential, we can really just start rocking this world uh, for ourselves. And now we're creating unlimited potential way out here. So we don't want to be sitting in this space. So um, And then there's all this negative stuff on the news. And there's all this negative stuff on Facebook and social media. So you got to really pay attention to that stuff. And as you're paying attention to that stuff, you want to make sure that you're not getting pulled into the drama. Because if you're getting pulled into what's happening, uh, then you're participating in the creation of it. However, if you see it and you think to yourself, you feel the heart energy and you feel everybody involved in their heart and you feel, you say, let the truth be revealed or show them compassion, forgive them for they know not what they do. Now you're sending healing energy out uh, to people. And this is a good example. I mean, I just, one of the things I saw was a girl that was um, uh, raped on spring break uh, up in Florida. And my, immediately my mind goes, oh. And nobody said anything. And I just thought to myself, I felt myself in my heart. Instead of me going, those people just deserve to. I thought to myself, forgive them. For they know not what they do. So the mind is automatically going, do they know better than they know that's wrong? Maybe. Maybe. But if anybody watched that and didn't do anything, then they truly are lost. And so all we can do is we can pray for them to find their way. We can send heart energy for them to find their way and wake up. And so they'll ask for forgiveness, and we forgive them before they even do that. Because what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is the letting go of that angst so that we're not co-creating more angst. We want to bring ourselves into that center point. This is our zero point in the heart. The heart is the center of the energy system. We want to be in that space. And so if we can be in that space, we can really start co-creating peace on this planet as opposed to anger because anger and projection onto what happened only creates more and on an energetic level, more anger and strife. However, if you understand the truth and uh, let the truth and ask for the truth be revealed and ask for divine justice, then that is, comes into the peaceful way of doing things. And divine justice, uh, we don't know how that's going to work out. It may just bring the reality of what they did so that they can change that and transmute that in themselves so that true healing can happen. And what's happening on our planet is that we're constantly trying to get vengeance and uh, for what happened to us. And, and so because we're trying to get vengeance, vengeance energy goes, scatters out like a, uh, like a pestilence all over the planet. And it becomes this disease. 
It's kind of like being cut off in traffic and you want to chase the person down so you can give them a piece of your mind. I've been there before. I've been there before. However, what if you just said, I really, you know, let the truth be revealed and ask for divine justice and much love to them, much love to whatever it is they're going through and forgive them for they know not what they do. What you're saying is you already know it's incorrect for them to cut you off in traffic. You're saying, I'm not going to participate in the drama and the reaction of co-creating more angst because that energy could go out to the person behind me and it could cause something there and you never know what can happen. We're co-creators. So if we're co-creators, let's continue to create peace and love and harmony. And when we do that, we'll change this planet. I can guarantee you. Namaste and much love to you.